In this video I'm going to be demonstrating both a 0.5 tick clock and a 1 tick clock which is on for half a tick and off for half a tick each cycle. To power both these clocks I'm going to be using the 1.5 tick clock that I demonstrated previously. The basic way it works as far as the, its function is concerned is this output here and this one here are each on for one tick for the full three uh, tick cycle of this clock. But it's there's space such that this is on for one tick, then both are off for half a tick, then this is on for one tick, and then both are on, off for half a tick each cycle. Meaning that this output here is on for one tick, off for half a tick, and then it just repeats that. Now, uh, if you follow the logic of it, then you'll notice that if I delay one of the outputs by one tick, then this new output here becomes on for 1.5 ticks and off for 1.5 tick ticks each cycle. And that becomes useful because when you use that to power a piston with a block connected to it, a sticky piston, that is the minimum amount needed for the piston to extend with the block attached and retract with the block attached without ever risking dropping a block. And uh, that's useful because then a, a signal can be passed through that block to red on the other side and the length of the signal pass through will be exactly half a tick. So if I hook it all up correctly, then the result will be something like this. Now, uh, what this bridge does is it makes it so that the signal coming out one side has this end delayed by one more tick than that side, and the signal coming out the other side is reversed, has the other side one tick more delayed. And that means that this output here and this output here are inverted. They're both 1.5 tick on, 1.5 tick off per cycle. They're just the opposite from each other. And then what I've done is I've gone around to three consecutive pistons for each side, and I've delayed their signals by one tick. So what happens is here is uh, it's getting a one t half tick signal every three ticks from that. This next one is getting a half tick signal one tick later, and this one is getting a half tick signal one tick later. Putting all three together, then this section is on for half a tick, off for half a tick, and then that cycles. So this is a one tick clock. Uh, the same is true over here, but it's inverted because of the inversion trick I used with that bridge. So now these two sections right here are each on for half a tick, off for half a tick, each cycle, and they're opposite from each other. I've routed these up here so that they can be used more conveniently since the clock takes up so much space around the actual outputs. Now, um, if I put a door down right here, and you listen very carefully, you can hear the door making noise and then if I put down a second piece of redstone, you hear it making more noise, so it's a little louder. It's hard to hear exactly, at least for me anyways, when the noises are playing. But I can at least hear that it gets louder when I put down the redstone. I notice that the door never opened, even though it was getting power. Uh, now this clock is different. This, is, uh, this output is on for one tick off for one tick each cycle. So it's a total of two ticks. And this is the inverse of that. And you'll see that if I power it from both sides, this door, it stays open forever. This one powered from both sides. Oops. That stays closed forever. And if you listen very carefully, this door, the amount of noise it makes, when both are attached is about equal to the amount of noise this makes when only one side is attached. So this is effectively when both sides are attached to whatever is here. It's a 0 0.5 tick clock which is always on, which is strange to think about, but the way Minecraft works is that when power is shut off, even if it's turned on immediately afterwards, that still counts as being turned off. Mm -hmm. And there's one more thing that can be demonstrated with that. If I place a piston here and power it with one side, I can break it. 
that doesn't even take that long. But if I pay, place two pieces of redstone, so it's getting powered every half tick, it's impossible to break. No matter how long I stand here, or no matter what tool I use, this will not break. I mean, if you use TNT, maybe it'll break, because the power would then get cut from it. But this clock can't use that, so this definitely does have an effect. Uh, I can't really think of a very useful thing to do with this, except to have one side of it be run along next to a piston. Let's say... If I were to do this, because this block, this redstone is next to this piston and it's being updated every half tick, this piston then gets updated every half tick. So if it, you know, we're pushing a stack of 12 blocks and one of them got destroyed and you want it to then push out more, it would only happen if it were continuous powered once it got updated next to it. So this wouldn't guarantee that it always got updated as soon as possible. There's probably other uh, uses, but that's at least one. Uh, so yeah, this has been a demonstration of a 0.5 tick clock as well as a 1 tick clock which is on for half a tick and off the half tick per cycle. Thank you for your time.